guys and circle man shout out to everybody out there subscribe leave a like leave a comment and uh yeah man uh shout out to everybody out there if you guys are good so shout out to um jam jeff man jam jeff for this video the link will be in the description uh so today we're gonna check out portal 2 welcome to um uh aperture labs man so welcome to aperture labs um yeah never did a portal video on this channel before so um yeah we're doing portal 2 man for the first time so uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video, man. So, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and any other videos you guys want me to react to, uh, let me know. But with that, here we go. Shout out to Valve, man. Valve need to make a part three. Bananas for the monkeys are here. Made possible in part by Generous Grand. Aperture. For over three years, the Aperture Science Portal Project has been the cornerstone of our aggressive recruitment program. Thanks to Portal, we can weed out test subjects who, when confronted with science, may exhibit any or all of the following personality flaws. Cowardice, impaired motor skills, poor judgment, fear of heights, weights, deaths, bullets, and fire. Now, our marketing engineers have discovered a way to offer consumers a home version of the Portal Project for free. Use your free Portal Kit to measure the value of those around you and find a companion for the upcoming Cooperative Portal Testing Initiative. Okay, okay, this should be, Good a, luck. This should be a success. Cave Johnson here. Fact, the key to any successful cooperative test is trust. And as our data clearly shows, humans cannot be trusted. Yeah, the solution? <laughs> robots. Then fire the guys who made those robots and build better robots. Then run those robots through a regimen of trust exercises, creating a foundation of mutual respect, reinforced by the simulated bonds of artificial friendship. Inspiring stuff. And finally, we put that trust to the test. Bam! Robots gave us six extra seconds of cooperation. Good job, robots. Gabe Johnson, we're done here. These next tests require cooperation. Consequently, they have never been solved by a human. That's where you come in. You don't know pride. You don't know fear. You don't know anything. You'll be perfect. Wow, that's messed up. That's messed up. <laughs> Yo. Test chamber completed. Continue testing. Continue testing. Don't touch it. Yeah, curiosity, man. <laughs> Continue testing. The two of you have forged an excellent partnership. Now it's time for your real purpose. Oh, crap. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yo, that is excessive. Man. Over. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> wow, they're like oh, I'll be Or I'll make you wish you could die. Corporation <laughs> begins. You're here because we want the best. And you are it. Yeah, this game so, came over like who is ready to make some ago. science? Right. Hello, investors. Cave Johnson here. Now, I know you've sunk a lot of money into the dual portal device. But I'm here to tell you, we're not banging rocks together over here. We know how to make a quantum space hole. Carolyn? See? Portal here, portal there. <laughs> Look at this thing go. Now, we have run into a reproducible human error problem. A lot of expensive equipment getting broken. But don't worry, Cave took care of it. Gentlemen, I give you the long fall boot. Think of it as a foot-based suit of armor for the portal device. 
I'm not gonna lie to you, it's expensive as hell. Yeah. But check this out. We told this test subject to just go ahead and try to land on her head. <laughs> she can't do it. Good work, Boots. So anyway, we're between banks right now. Just make those checks out to cash. Cave Johnson, we're done here. Cave Johnson here, introducing the consumer version of our most popular military-grade product. <laughs> the turret. How do we get so many bullets in them? Like this. Plus, we fire the whole bullet. That's 65% more bullet per bullet. This is the same technology we've been using on robots for decades. <laughs> Scares the hell out of them. They come in hundreds of designer colors, including wow. forest, desert, yeah. table, uh, evening at the improv. <laughs> what idiot picked these? Then we box them up and ship them straight to your oh doorstep. My God. So you can protect the things that matter most. Good night. Oh my God. Just try and get close to that baby. <laughs> your funeral. Gabe Johnson, we're done. <laughs> yeah, this is sick. Cave Johnson here. This is a test chamber. Four walls ceiling and a floor. Good enough for science. <laughs> Not aperture science. Gentlemen, I give you panels. The planks of tomorrow. Fully configurable. Infinitely variable. Safe. Aperture brand panels will assist your test subjects every step of the way. Ah! <laughs> it is not a panel. Yeah. Crusher. We sell them too. Cave Johnson here. Every time I look at our test chamber production line, I am reminded of my father. <laughs> now, he wasn't a scientist, just a simple farmer. A professor of farming at the local farm college. Never farmed a day in his life. But his theories on farming are the backbone of this company. Do it from scratch. Spare no expense. And never cut corners. Well, that's a corner-cutting machine. We obviously cut them there. Point is, we've always done things the way my father did. And his father before him, and his father before him, and his father before him. And we are almost bankrupt. Oh, nice. So, time for a cheaper nice, approach. Nice. Allow me to introduce nice. the multiverse. Infinite Earth with an infinite uh, number of apertures. And as of now, they are going to take over all test idea. chamber construction. Yeah, and more importantly, all paying for test chamber multiverse. construction. Okay. Why are they Marvel. agreeing to do that? They're not. We're tricking them. Here's how it works. One, design a test. Two, slip the mole monsters or what have you, the blueprint when they're not looking. Three, once they build it, steal it back. <laughs> Look at that sad little octopus. <laughs> That's where you come in. We need blueprints. We are about to run the greatest con game in the history of the multiverse, and you are the bottleneck. Yes, you. Nice. Get back to work. Yo, peace. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Diamonds. This is a woman who loves diamonds because of wide range of applications. Great. Can't get out of here with that trash. Oh, crap. <laughs> I stole the diamond. Is that shoes? Thank you very much indeed. It's a, it's a huge honor. Wow. Wow, 42 of you for free honor. Wow. 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 
laboratories. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. <laughs> They could not. Good luck. Like oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. All right, let's get started. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society. <laughs> for that, humanity is grateful. Oh, good. That's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers <laughs> and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. <laughs> well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Mm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your... Generous. Yes. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You yeah, look great, exactly. by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Whee! Wow. I think we can put our differences behind man. us. So that was it, man. Uh, big shout out to um, Jam Jeff, man, for that portal for the first time. Record portal. Um, never really played portal. I remember when it came out a long time ago. It was pretty popular, one game of the year and all that stuff, man. Pretty much a puzzle game from Valve. Probably probably the last game Valve made, really. I don't think they made anything after Portal 2. I don't know, man. But that was pretty cool. If you guys want me to react to more Portal stuff, let me know. Subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. And, uh, yeah. Big shout out to Jam Jeff again, man. With that, you boys out of here. Peace.